Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins and in this episode we're going to continue working on the Freedom 17. It's a cedar strip canoe and we've got about 10 episodes so far. We've got a lot of video coming out in a hurry right now uh, but I keep feeling like there's a lot of things of interest here uh, somebody may be able to get something out of. Uh, in this video, we're going to look and see uh, basically where is the water line. And I'm going to try to put a mahogany accent strip on uh, pretty much at the water line. So uh, we'll look at the plan, see how we figure that out, and uh, we'll do a little scarfing. And so anyway, uh, glad you're here. If you're new to the channel, um, you might consider subscribing. That'd be good and uh, helps support us. So uh, anyway, let's jump in and see how we can make some more progress. This little jig lets me do two at a time, one on the back side, one on the front. So 
So I've got, got it clamped down to where it's up against the, the fence there. Got some tight bond. And I, I took and put a pencil mark on here so that I'll know how far to put this strip up on here. So see, like right there, and we're up on the pencil mark. And then what I can do is clamp it down back here. Make sure that's where I want it. Now it's not going to move, and I can go and clamp, clamp the scarf, just like that. Now I don't know why I don't do the back one first, and I seem to never do the back one first, and I should because now I can't see what I'm doing. So this is mahogany, and what I'm doing is I'm making an accent strip for the water line. Still 18 foot long, so I had to make two scarves because I had an eight foot piece. And I ripped it out. So I did one scarf between the two eight foot pieces last night, and I'm just adding on the last two feet here now. So we'll let that set up for a while. I'm using this quick and thick, so. Uh, should set up pretty fast. So we've got nine strips on per side with mahogany there at the fifth strip, just as an accent. And I even actually started taking the plane and knocking off some of the glue and some of the high spots. Really pleased. Okay, well, so I've had an idea to do sort of a waterline type accent strip. And I'm going to go ahead and use mahogany again. I think it'll look good and it'll be five strips up from where the last one is. Uh, and so I thought, well, where, where approximately is the waterline? So I got back in the plans over here in the book, Canoe Craft, Freedom 17. And we can see the water line on the station diagram. But then we can also see that it says that our draft is four and a quarter inches. So when the boat's sitting in the water, four and a quarter inches will be underwater. It draws that much. So I thought, well, I'm just going to take... I'm just going to take my little uh, square and measure down four and a quarter inches. So you see I've got it set there, and I just set it on top of the board that I've got there, and then I drew a line. Then I took the, the level, and I just drew my line all the way across. And so you can see... Maybe you can see right about here, that's where the water line would be. So I'm perfect to put three quarter inch strip right in there. Now, the only thing about this is that these strips are angling down both aft and forward. So I kind of was curious to see what it might look like. And the fact of the matter is it's gonna stick up. Um, this is, another line that I drew that's four and a half down or four and a quarter down and you can't see with that knot but it comes over to right about here now there's quite a bit of space here so we're not going to get up to there we're going to still go ahead and let the strip lay fair and uh, that's fine it'll it'll look good because it'll be running smooth and fair I check it back here and Aft, we're much closer. So here's a line I drew here. See, so three quarters of an inch, we'll be almost up to that. So the rest of the story is when you get it loaded up with gear and people, your uh, water line's probably gonna 
they're probably going to draw more water. So it's strong possibility that this water line here in the middle may be slightly underwater. This accent strip that I'm going to do, that may be slightly underwater when, when it's, the canoe is actually being used. But these other uh, places, you should still be able to see it. So I think it'll look pretty good. We're, uh, I've scarfed up the, the strips this morning. We had a little bit of video on that just because the scarfing is something of interest for a lot of people. So anyway, we'll obviously have some more pictures once we get, uh, get this strip on. So after quite a bit of uh, dry fitting and fairing with the robo bevel, we got this uh, next mahogany strip on here. One thing I noticed is it was slightly narrower. I think that my strips are a little bit bigger than a quarter inch. Maybe just like by a 30 second or so. Okay, here's that one line that we drew on the station. So you can see it comes over almost exactly right to where that strip is. And we are in a very hard part of the bends uh, on the chine line coming up here into the bottom. So it's really hard to get it to, to uh, it's more straight up and down there. It's not a big deal there, but right up here, stations 10 and nine and eight, um, really had to, plane off that other strip and then really kind of clamp and bend those down. You can see I even have two of these little cleats holding that one back down. But all in all, really happy with it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.